that no droids abiding hunters, no Raylos, no Ray nobodies. Um, <clears throat> if you break it, you bought it. Fights here, you take them outside. In the alley, gunfights, you take it out, sh out straight. Uh, we don't do sequel trilogies here at all. I'm here uh, because Midnight Sides is going to discuss this more. Hopefully Cameron Pasha uh, shows up there because he's, I think, the one with the pulse on what's really going on here. And, you know, this is, if you remember back in the old days, uh, you're, if you're a baseball fan, I'm not, but I remember this. Uh, the New York Yankees were owned by a guy named George Steinbrenner. Um, Steinbrenner was very flamboyant. He was just out there. And he had a manager named Billy Martin. Billy Martin was an old school baseball player. He was a bit of a maverick and a bit of a, to be honest, kind of a shit. A good manager, a bad manager, whatever you want to call him. Um, I think he actually had played once with, uh, uh, oh God, Mickey Mantle and stuff. That, uh, th that team back in the 60s. Um, but when the Yankees were, were, soft, were, were struggling under him, Steinbrenner would go out. He would say this about any manager. Oh, they're doing great. We're fine. We can be happier. A week later, he cans the guy. Or a month later, he cans the guy. Okay. That's what's going on here. And I'm going to aim this at some people who are struggling with the concept that there are things a CEO can and can't say during an investor's meeting. Um, yeah, I know he said Kennedy is doing a great job. But I also know he sees the numbers. I also know, know he sees the reaction of people to the product she's she's produced. And 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 look at what's going on. There will not be any High Republic merchandise. The High Republic is a fail. I mean, the thumbprint, the, 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 the thumbnail, Morning Alex, of this is a page from Claudia Gray's Into the Darkness. And it's, 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 it's filth. It's obscene. It's, it's, it's poor writing. It's everything you don't want your kids to read, okay? Because they're kids. And... It, it doesn't even make any, I mean, logically, it doesn't make any sense in, in, in the universe. And in reality, it's, it's trash. This woman, is, this woman didn't put her anything into this. Okay, this was, I've never seen three books more half-assed written in my life than I've seen books written so half-assedly in my life than The High Republic. And they want this to be the way forward. I'm sorry, that's not how it works. You know, I'm sure they want to see of our Chris wandering around Galaxy's Edge. No, because no one likes her. No one, I mean, here's an example. One of the subscribers here said that somebody at a 501st meeting was like, we should do fun, High Republic characters. And they're all staring at him going, no, because no one likes it. It's stupid, okay? They're not selling it. Um, there you go. I mean, that's all you really need to know. Uh, so when you're talking about, I, I can't believe I'm still talking about what JPEG said because I, I, smart people, I would think, would, would grasp it. And I think people are too emotional right now. Um, we've got people giving up, big names in the fandom, giving up Oh yeah, that, exactly Xenofat. I'm going to go to the other Target this afternoon to see if any of those books sold and I guarantee you they didn't. Um you know, no one wants this trash. I mean, that's that's one thing that that I mean, Disney paid for it. Lucasfilm doesn't pay its way. Their subsidiary of the Walt Disney Company. Okay. Disney pays for it. Disney is having a hard time filling their parks. Disney 
can't even open their cruise lines and have, I think, three more boats, ships being built. Disney had to shut down two rides that they were building. Okay. It's bad. Okay, this is, this is, this is bad news. And for people to sit there and say, oh, he, he, did, he meant it. They're going to get, why? You know, if you honestly believe that investors, and I'm not talking about the small time people that actually brought up things that are the big time people are asking in private. If you honestly think the investors are more in tune to their to politics than they are in seeing their investments grow, you don't know anything about financial people. For, for instance, Larry Fink, he runs BlackRock. BlackRock. Oh yeah, Trela, I believe it. BlackRock um, is probably the biggest hedge fund in the world. Larry Fink himself is a billionaire. He'd probably like to be a bill. Another, he'd probably like to have another billion. Because the moment you get that first, you want the second, the third, and the fourth. Um, the more you have, the more you want. All right. This is, you know, why at times people on Wall Street can become really, really greedy and corrupt. Okay. Um, there are very few people within that system that run companies, CEOs and the like, like Elon Musk. He's, I think, the richest man in the world. He can lose 20, 30 billion on a, on a day and just shrug it off. He doesn't care. You can't, though, that, that kind of capitalist, even the Donald Trump kind of capitalist, it's good to be wealthy, but it's, it's the ambition to build things, I think, the ambition to take things to the next level rather than how much is in my portfolio and how much can I add to it. Okay, if you're a hedge fund manager, you're not only, and you, and you run a company like that, you not only want to see your billions grow, you want to see everybody else's. Millions, hundreds of thousands, whatever they have invested with you or working through your investment group, you want to see them grow too. And to be honest, when I look at the way Disney's being run right now, it looks like a Ponzi scheme. Okay, they have a problem. And the idea that their politics are taking uh, front and center over trying to get the, their, their way out of financial morass is bullshit. That's the personal views of somebody who's so upset by what's going on, all right, that they can't come back and think objectively. All right, you know, I'm not gonna, I've seen this. This happens in sports, the, the, giant, the Steinbrenner. Thanks, Miserius. The Steinbrenner, I'm not, I'm not, I'm only gonna be here until, uh, uh, Midnight's Edge comes on uh, because they'll have more. Hopefully, Cameron will be on. Um, you can't possibly think that that the investment people are happy with this. They see the SEC filings. Uh, uh, they see the lawsuits too. You know, and when I say Disney's behaving like a Ponzi scheme, yeah. They're hiding funny money. I mean, I, uh, there was that one SEC complaint where the accountant was basically saying they're taking money from uh, uh, Marvel, the end game, and giving it to Captain, Captain Marvel to boost the box office. That's illegal. Okay, that's, you know, but... You know, that those are the things that Disney is contending with right now. And to believe, I mean, I, th I, I think it's true of, of Kathleen Kennedy. I think she's got her money. Um, I think that she's got more money than she could ever spend. And she's just there to cause trouble. She's just there to rock the boat, trash what's been there before, because she's a narcissist. She doesn't feel any in any way responsible for creating a product people want. Because in her mind, what we want is politically incorrect and dangerous. 
you know, it celebrates, you know, traditional masculinity and traditional values. You know, because in her warped sense, that's bad. Of course, she's almost 70 years old. She's 67. The people telling her um, what to do and, and giving her advice on her side are a bunch of, you know, woke leftist losers who can't make it in the real world. They hire woke leftist hacks who, you know, my favorite novelist, Vince Flynn, I met him. None of his books were ever uh, reviewed by the New York Times. But the man has sold millions and millions and millions, tens of millions of books all over the world before he died. He basically created the American version of James Bond in Mitch Rapp. The people that were hired to write by the story group, Claudia Gray, Daniel Jose Older, Justina Ireland, are a bunch of woke activists who maybe have sold a million copies here. Maybe I'm wrong, but they're not nearly on the level of success as he is. As, you know, I was like James Clavell or Barbara Tra Taylor Bra Bradford, okay, or, you know, other, I mean, J.K. Rowling, who's getting attacked because Harry Potter's a boy. And she basically explained that biologically men can't be women and women can't be men. I mean, you know, because that's, that's, that's too commonsensical for certain people in the world to understand. And they honestly think that a, a, a population so small and so obscure is, is the leading cause of, of their, their oppression, quote unquote is a leading cause of all the bad in the world. You know, it's really funny. You can embrace climate change and think mankind is the sole responsibility. Oh, he left? Okay, well, you know, he probably didn't want to get beaten up. I mean, that's interesting, Kate. And I really don't care because Twitter sucks. Um, you know, it's really, really fascinating to me that they can embrace climate change and think, I don't really care, Kate. Okay. I mean, he probably left on his own. I mean, we can't speculate, and that's not what I'm talking about. You know, they can sit there and, and what? John 42 is a great guy. What's going on? Um, I can't see the, 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 the chat, by the way, guys. So Maze is the sole arbiter of that. Um, you know, they, they can embrace the lie of, of, of climate change and blame humanity for something where we don't have the power over. Sure, we pollute, but are we that powerful? No. Okay. Um, but when you say that, when you talk about chromosomes, X and Y together as a man, XX as a woman, you're, you're, that's science. That's science, okay? When you talk about critical race theory as being divisive and harmful and made up, you know, you're the bad guy. You know, you know, you could bring up, all right, I'll bring this up, the Protocols of the Elders of Zion. That was something I, I was uh, shown at, at, in college when we were studying anti-Semitism. That was made up too. That thing, that caused a lot of people's deaths. So are we going to sit there and think critical race theory won't do the same? Think about it. Think about it. 
The time is now for people of common sense to tell the woke to shut the fuck up. Okay. And here's what I, I think is going on. I think that whatever's going on behind the scenes, yes, there is a civil war going on at Lucasfilm. Stop being emotional because, and, and jumping to conclusions because you didn't get to hear what you wanted to hear. Okay. Because I, even... Even if he had said that, then JPEG would be in trouble. He would be subject to being sued. There would be legal ramifications. A whole shitstorm would happen. He can't say it. So please stop demanding or acting like the world's came to an end because you didn't get to hear what you wanted to hear. Okay. Because even as... as the beast of Lucasfilm is, is ushered out the door. He's not going to say what you want him to say. All right? He's not. That's reality. That's, that's the world that he lives in as a CEO. He's chained in one way and not chained in another way. He can do things about her. He can do things about the shit that's been going on. You know, the idea that... that Kathleen Kennedy, blah, blah, blah. No, fucking age. Just fucking quit it. She went behind their backs. All right? She went behind their backs to do all this to Gina. Okay? It's, 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 and the rest of the stuff, canceling toys and, you know, her, her Bear Grylls episode, that's just petty bullshit. That's her. You know? And the more she does, the more she puts her head in the noose. Okay? And sooner or later, because people like Larry Fink and Ron O'Hanley and uh, uh, Mortimer Buckley are going to say enough's enough, get rid of her, get, get her the fuck out. All right. And that's what they'll say. And it'll happen. Because money talks, bullshit walks. Okay. And if you have money invested in Disney and you're watching it and you know that this is all fake and bullshit because Dis Disney's literally limping in a financial abyss. You're gonna be mad, okay? If you're only if you own twenty million shares and you're only getting two cents a share for it, when you should be getting three or four dollars a share. I mean, I mean, that's the di I think that's the dividend that you should be getting. I mean. There was a, a quarter or so ago when they didn't get any dividends. Okay? So, slow your roll. Stop acting negative. Stop, you know, I, I'm sorry, but if you really feel that way, that's you. That doesn't reflect on the, on the reality of the situation at all. Okay? Reality of the situation is we don't fucking know what's going on. And as many bad things are going on, we get this lovely little article from Forbes. And as far as I'm concerned, it might be mentioning Chapek a lot, but I guarantee you Chapek was the one that said do it. Drop it in there. Okay. All right. Because that probably, this is probably reflective of what he's thinking. And it's, and I'm going to say this, Chapek did it. This is pointing at Iger too. Chapek knows he's a fall guy, if anything, when, when it go, all goes south. Chapek knows it. Iger, in his attempts at saving his legacy, has, has been laughable because he didn't do enough to, to, to put Kennedy in a box. All right? And him trying to protect her is laughable. But again, I don't come from this side of the world. If someone screws up as badly as she does, in any other business, she'd be launched off the end of their foot. Chapek had, had no problem firing the woman, the parks lady, a year ago or two, right? I really don't think he'd have a hard time saying goodbye to Kennedy either. He is, it's, it's, gonna, it's a complicated mess and it's a complicated procedure, but look at the reaction of the fans. She has tainted everything. 
But no, they love it. This is the way they want to go. They want to be woke and watching investors' investments dwindle and disappear. Do you think the investors like that? Do you think they really like that? Think. And think about the ramifications if Chapek would have said what you wanted him to say to the investors. If you can't understand that, I can't help you. But to sit there and poo-poo everybody else for saying, hey, he couldn't say that. He's legally bound. And, and, and he's responsible to the board of directors for protecting the brand and the share price. And if he, if he said anything about Kennedy in that situation, her lawyers could come after them. And if it goes in one, one ear, one, and through one ear, rattles around, comes out the other. Hey, you know, you know, if you're getting advice from Matt Kadish, who hasn't been in, you know, Hollywood in, you know, nine, uh, you know, almost 10 years, and you're ignoring Cameron Pasha, who's in Hollywood, because Matt Kadish fits your emotional issues, I can't help you. All right? You guys are not thinking ahead here. And the thing about it is you guys are smart. You're not stupid. You're, you're smart. But you're not being logical. You're not. And your emotions are ex are expressing your fears rather than, and you're letting your fear run run with run you. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to the dark side. Think about that. Okay. We got to stop that. We're winning. Trust me on this. I know it. Just be patient. And as for anybody giving up, you know, it's a coward's way out. Being a coward is, is something I can't do and I can't respect because I'm not. I mean, if Kathleen Kennedy was standing in front of me right now, I'd, I'd launch into her and I'd tell her exactly what I think and I'd make sure she couldn't answer back. I'd let her know in no uncertain terms what a piece of garbage human she really is and what a lying, conniving, betraying female Judas she is and that her politics are shit and no one shouldn't speak for all women. She didn't even speak for the women who work for her. There you go. That's what I would tell her. And I'm not afraid of her. And I'm not afraid of them. Okay. If you are so disheartened and disenchanted by Bob Chapek saying something when he really didn't say anything, then please, for the love of God, take a, take a break. Go take a walk. Go rent a cabin up in the woods. Spend a week de de decompressing, disengage from everything. Take your dog. Take books. Read. Come back because you'll, you'll look at it all very differently. Trust me on that. This is Steph signing out. See you in the galaxy. Midnight's Edge is coming up right now.